It doesn't look like the 2022 hurricane season is going away quietly. Chances are going up in the Caribbean that we could have a system developing over the weekend. We're also going to check up on two other disturbances in the Atlantic. One could develop near Bermuda, the other north of Puerto Rico and the Bahamas. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and we talk and track all things weather on this channel. Yo, be careful of what you see on social media. There are a ton of crazy model runs being shared there. I'm going to talk much more about that at the end of the video. Stick around. Right off the bat here, the National Hurricane Center is now highlighting the Eastern Caribbean for potential development going into the weekend. This is the area that we were talking about in yesterday's video for the potential as we turn the page into early November that we could see some development here. Note all the green on your screen here, all that streaming into Western Puerto Rico, getting into the Dominican Republic and into Haiti. This is tropical moisture surging in as a result of another disturbance north of the Caribbean islands. That one could also develop as we move over the next couple of days. We're going to break down that system coming up a little bit later in the video. Again, that system is north of the Caribbean, moving away from the islands. It's just kind of pulling in all that tropical moisture closer to us, helping that rain and storms get going. Now, as far as that entity into the weekend, again, there is no storm out there just yet. We need to wait till we get into the weekend to potentially get something to start to develop. Again, this is the very early stage of this. But there is model support, really several different models indicating this. We're looking at those European ensembles again. And specifically, we're looking for the teeny tiny dotted circles you see pop up on your screen. So now we're looking towards Monday, October 31st, the morning of. And you're starting to see a few little circles pop up just north of South America. And as we venture into the first few days of November and really through the first week of November, Note that we start to have more of those ensemble members of the European start to become on board a little bit as we would get closer to Central America, toward Jamaica, towards Cuba. And again, this is getting really far out into the future now. We're looking into the first weekend of November, but the signal is there that there could be some shenanigans in the Caribbean, something we are watching extremely close really for the Caribbean islands, Central America, Mexico, and then even the eastern Gulf Coast of the United States. The GFS ensembles are also on board, although it is a little more aggressive as it typically is in this part of the world. You see more circles popping up in the eastern Caribbean, and really that model, that ensemble, develops this system much quicker and lifts it north quicker as well, which is something that tends to happen with those stronger storms in the eastern Caribbean. Now again, there is no confidence whatsoever in what could happen because we don't even have a storm just yet. So be careful what you see on social media. Again, I'm going to get all into that and unpack that coming up in a couple of minutes. If you like what you see in this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It will help us out a great deal. The little guy known as Invest 94L, it missed its shot to develop. Again, good news, but even if it did develop, it really wasn't going to change impacts to the island of Bermuda. Yes, that was a Hamilton reference because we're looking at Bermuda where the city of Hamilton is. Nonetheless, this is going to continue to drift away. The environment is not good by any means, so this one's just going to fall apart. There are thunderstorms around its center right now. It just hasn't been able to maintain them. Again, good news, but this was never really going to be a high-impact system for Bermuda anyway. Just some gusty weather potentially moving through the North Atlantic from this point on. The system on the left-hand side of your screen, north of us in the Bahamas and Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, this one has a sneaky shot to develop over the next couple of days. I'll show you a model forecast in a second. But this is also the system that is bringing the heavy rain to parts of the Caribbean islands. Again, you see that spin Right on the left-hand side of your screen there, that is the center of low pressure. It's lifting north, but it's pulling all of that Caribbean moisture out over the Caribbean island. So again, there's nothing coming in your direction in terms of an organized system, at least in the short term. But we are seeing that inclement weather because of a system that could eventually develop as it lifts north. The window with this system isn't all that wide open either. It's likely not going to even impact anything. But again, just for historical purposes in terms of the naming of this thing, it's got a shot. You see that little ball there, the different colors in the center of your screen. That is the low-level spin here on the model forecast. And it does look like it's closed off. We'll see if it can become fully tropical as it kind of lifts north towards the top of your screen. You just see it meandering well off of Cape Hatteras in North Carolina until it leaves the frame there and just kind of meanders over the cooler waters of the North Atlantic. Again, this one's really going to have about a two, maybe three day window to try to develop. Otherwise, it will also miss its shot. 
All right, it's rant time. I mentioned earlier in the video that there's already a lot of crazy model runs being plastered all over social media. Just be careful what you see and make sure that there is some context with them. I woke up earlier this morning to a text message of a friend that sent me a screenshot of this model run from Twitter. This is yesterday afternoon's GFS and it has already changed, but it shows a pretty strong hurricane around the Bahamas or Florida as we would move towards the end of the first week of November. Is it in the realm of possibilities? Yes, but two things stick out at me when I see this, and I already saw this one around yesterday. This is 16 days out. This is no doubt going to change. Could there be a strong hurricane somewhere in the Caribbean or Gulf or off the southeast coast of the U.S.? Absolutely. We're getting into that pattern. The second thing that makes you question this is that it is really hard to get an east coast hurricane strike this time of the year. Those cold fronts start to get a little more common. That tends to push those storms further out at sea. Now, if this would come up into the Gulf of Mexico, that's where we would favor something heading east and impacting land because the dips in the jet stream then pick things up and then lift things to the east. So again, what this tells us at this stage in the game is that the GFS wants a storm out there. It's not the only one. It's not the only model that is forecasting this storm. But it is way too early for any kind of specifics in, turn of, in terms of how strong this could be, in terms of where this could go. Again, we are at the stage of the game now where we just kind of wait and see if we get something to develop and then what the environment looks like at that point. Now, I also wanted to show you this. Again, this is the European, and it has nothing developing in the Caribbean, nothing off the southeast coast of the U.S., and nothing in the Gulf of Mexico through November 3rd. Now, I caution, though, its ensemble members of this model do suggest that we are going to have development here. So again, right now, we are just in wait-and-see mode. But don't believe everything you see plastered on social media. You need to have the context. There's no reason to be freaking out at this point. So again, it is way too early for any kind of specifics. Nobody on earth can tell you what is going to happen here. What I will say is we are seeing a large-scale pattern change, which will promote the development of tropical disturbance in the Caribbean. It also lines up with where we would climatologically look for tropical development this time of the year. And again, we do have some model guidance suggesting that we will have development. Now, guidance, that is what the models are. They are not gospel by any means. Again, there's still a long way to go with this. We don't even have a disturbance, but it does look like as we move into the weekend ahead, there could be a little bit of shenanigans getting started anyway in the Eastern and Caribbean. We're going to be on it for you. We are watching it like crazy on this channel and keeping our fingers crossed that we do not get anything. It's been an awful year so far. And again, we're hoping that something does develop. This does not impact anybody. If you like what you saw, we would love to have you on board as we track the weather together. Please smash that subscribe button, hit the like, thumbs up, and hit the alert bell. And we will catch you next time. Stay safe and be aware of what you see on social media.